Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. So, this video is about removing veils of darkness and evil coverings, veils of unbelief, veil, evil veils, blind mind veils, evil coverings, and veils of darkness, right? So, these type of things, blind people's understanding, you know, spiritual blindfolds, blind people from seeing the truth, knowing the truth, being, you know, void of understanding, having lack, lack of knowledge, you know, spiritual blindness and things like that, um, removing block visions. So when people have like evil veils, blindfold veils, evil coverings, it like it's rejection veils, it's works of the kingdom of darkness, you understand? So it can blind you from understanding, from seeing from knowing the things and from having dreams and visions so this is to help you to remove god had me put this together to remove evil veils of darkness and evil coverings off people's faces even confusion of faces because there's people who steal people's identity in the spirit steal people's you know they just steal a whole bunch of stuff and they try to cover people in type of things that they shouldn't be covering people with and they try to blind them and you know how evil people operate so um let's get into it doctrine and covenants chapter 110 verse 1 the veil was taken away from our minds and the eyes of our understanding were open so these are these are spiritual evil veils that you know the children of darkness put on people's minds for them to be what void of understanding for them not to understand for you know their mind's eyes to blind their mind's eyes so this veil you can use these scriptures and you know people put um evil veils on people's face who they're jealous and envious of people's beauty and stuff like that so we're gonna get into these scriptures god wants me to read for you to get deliverance from these things you know, the hearts of man is desperately wicked. So Doctrine and Covenants chapter 110 verse 1. The veil was taken from our minds and the eyes of our understanding were open. That's a good scripture to use. Now do Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7 to 28. And he will destroy in the mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations because the enemies do rejection veils and all kinds of evil veils they put on people to block people and to hurt people you know he will swallow up death in victory and the lord god will wipe away tears from off all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth for the lord has spoken it so these scriptures is help with deliverance of veils of darkness the evil veils veils of unbelief veils of you know that cause people to misunderstand or not understand at all not to see now the the book of ether chapter 4 verse 15 behold when you shall rent the veil of unbelief which does cause you to remain in your awful state of wickedness and hardness of heart and blindness of mind then shall the great and marvelous things which have been hid up from the foundations of the world from you. Yeah, when you shall call upon the Father in my name with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, then you shall know that the Father has remembered the covenant which he made unto your father, O house of Israel. So when you call upon, you see the blindness of mind. This is what these evil veils do veil of unbelief blindness of mind but when you call upon god with a broken heart and a contrite spirit you shall know that god has remembered the covenant with you you go the veil will be rent it will be broken so and another way to destroy these evil veils is 2 corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 nevertheless when it shall be turned to the lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face, beholding as a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord. 
Now Doctrine and Covenants chapter 38 verse 8. But the day soon comes that you shall see me and know that I am. For the veil of darkness shall soon be rent. And he that is not pure, has not purified himself shall not abide the day. Wherefore, grit up your loins and be prepared. Behold, the kingdom is yours and the enemy shall not overcome. So, you see, there's, there's veils of darkness that should, sh should be rent. The kingdom is yours and the enemy shall not overcome you. Now, Alma chapter 19, verse 6. And now was what Ammon desired, for he knew that the king Lamoni was under the power of God. He knew that the dark veil of unbelief was being cast away from his mind. And the light which did light up his mind, which was the light of the glory of God, which was, mar which was the marvelous light of his goodness. Yeah, this light had infused such joy into his soul. The cloud of darkness having been dispelled and the light of everlasting life was lit up in his soul. Yeah, he knew that this had overcome his natural frame and he was carried away in God. Do you see that? Do you see that what they use? Veils of unbelief. Right? Clouds of darkness. So what happened? The clouds of darkness were dispelled. The veil of unbelief. Remember in the book of Revelations, it talks about the fearful and the unbelieving. There shall be weeping of gnashing of teeth. But some people just have a veil of unbelief on them that needs to be broken. So like what happened with King Lamoni when he was under the power of God. Let me read this again. King Lamoni was under the power of God. He knew that the dark veil of unbelief was being cast away from his mind. And the light which, he, which did light up his mind, which was the light of the glory of God, which was a marvelous light of his goodness. Yeah, this light had infused such joy into his soul. The clouds of darkness have him being dispelled and the light of everlasting life was lit up in his soul. Yeah, he knew that this had overcome his natural frame and he was carried away in God. Now, Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 67, verse 9. For you know that there is no unrighteousness in them, and that which is righteous comes down from above, from the Father of lights. And again, verily I say unto you that it is your privilege and a promise I give unto you that have been ordained unto this ministry, that inasmuch as you strip yourselves from jealousies and fears and humble yourselves before me, for you are not sufficiently humble. The veil shall be rent, and you shall see me and know that I am, not with the carnal, neither natural mind, but with the spiritual. For no man seeing God at any time in the flesh, except quickened by the Spirit of God. So do you understand that? A lot of people have veils that need to be rent, but they had to strip themselves from what? Jealousy. Je their jealousies and their fears. Remember, God tells you and to fear not, be not dismayed, the fearful and the unbelieving. And He tells you, don't be prideful, humble yourselves. So when people strip themselves from jealousies, from fear, and pride, and they humble themselves before God, because He says, for you're not sufficiently humble. But when they are, the veil shall be rent, and you shall see me, and know that I am. Not with the carnal, neither natural mind, but with the spiritual. For no man has seen God at any time in the flesh, except quickened by the Spirit of God. So you see that? Some people have these veils of unbelief, and these veils of darkness on them, that are blinding their eyes and blinding their mind because of what? Jealousies, fears, and pride. They haven't humbled themselves. But once they get rid of jealousy, fears, and pride, and humble themselves, those veils shall be rent. Now, you see the, the part of their understanding. These are scriptures God want me to read for you to read. So you, those who have went through these things can be delivered from them with this, the right scriptures to use. Now, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. This is about 
the understanding of your mind. The eyes of your understanding shall be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, word, who believe according to the working of his mighty power. So you see that? So it does more than these veils blind your understanding. But these scriptures help remove it, remove the veils. You understand? Doctrine and covenants, Corinthians and Isaiah destroy the face of the covering cast that the veil that is spread over the nation. The veil was taken away from our minds and the eyes of our understanding were open. So let, let me get back down to these scriptures. So now we're at Luke chapter 10 and 23. And he turned onto, onto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see. So your mind's eyes as well, you need to be able to see, to understand, to discern. Now Doctrine and Covenants chapter six, 76 verse 12. By the power of the spirit of by the power of the Spirit, our eyes were open and our understanding were enlightened so as to see and understand the things of God. So you can use this scripture. By the power of the Spirit, our eyes were open and our understanding were enlightened so as to see and understand the things of God. This helps you not lean on your own understanding. This helps you not being void of understanding. This removes any, you know, misunderstandings. Now, Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 28, verse 11. And the light which shines, which gives you light, is through him who enlightens your eyes, which is the same light that quickens your understanding. So your eyes of understanding, enlightening of your eyes. Remember, we spoke about the light of the eyes if your eye be full of light your whole body single you, you know and the light which shines which gives you light is through him who enlightens your eyes which is the same light that quickens your understanding now this is the greatest thing about having light and being enlightened doctrine and one of one of the many greatest things because there's so many great things of being in light and being enlightened but this is one of many Doctrine and Covenants chapter 28 verse 67. And if your eye be single to my glory. So if your eyes are single to God's glory. Your whole body shall be filled with light. And there shall be no darkness in you. And that body which is filled with light comprehends all things. So when you're filled with light. You comprehend all things. You understand? You comprehend all things. So isn't that good? Now, let me read this scripture again. You can use it for your deliverance. Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 28, verse 67. And if your eyes be single to my glory, your whole body shall be filled with light, and there shall be no darkness in you. And, the, and that body which is filled with light comprehends all things. So you being filled with light, you're going to comprehend all things. What's right? What's wrong? What's good? What's evil? What's light? What's darkness? What's truth? What's lie? You'll comprehend all things. Doctrine, I mean, sorry, um, Ether chapter 12, verse 16. Yeah, and even all they who wrought miracles wrought them by faith. Even those who were before Christ and also those who were after and it was by faith that the three disciples obtained a promise that they should not taste of death. And they obtained not the promise until after their faith. So when you're doing these things, you have to have faith. Do you understand? The, even the disciples obtained not their promise that they shouldn't taste death until after their faith. And neither at any time has wrought any miracles until after their faith. So nobody can wrought no miracles until after their faith. Wherefore, they first believed in the Son of God. And there were many whose faith was so exceedingly strong, even before Christ came, 
who could not be kept from within the veil, but truly saw with their eyes the things which they had beheld with an eye of faith, and they were, they were glad. And behold, we have seen in record that one of these was the brother of Jared, for so great was his faith in God, that when God put forth his finger, he could not hide it from the sight of the brother of Jared because of his word which he had spoken unto him, which word he had obtained by faith. And after the brother of Jared had beheld the finger of the Lord because of the promise which the brother of Jared had obtained by faith, the Lord could not withhold anything from his sight. Wherefore he showed him all things, for he could no longer be kept without the veil. And it was, and it is by faith that my fathers have obtained the promise that these things should come unto their brethren through the Gentiles. Therefore the Lord has commanded me, yeah, even Christ. Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 101, I mean, chapter 101, 101 and 18. They that remain and are pure in heart shall return and come to their inheritances. They and their children with songs of everlasting joy to build up the waste places of Zion. And all these things that the prophets might be fulfilled. And behold, there is no other place appointed than that which is appointed. Neither shall there be any other place appointed than that which I have appointed for the work of the gathering of my saints until the day comes when there is found no more room for them and then i have other places which i will appoint unto them and they shall be called stakes for the curtains or the strength of zion behold it is my will that all they who call upon my name and worship me according to my everlasting gospel shall gather together and stand in holy places and prepare for the revelation which is come when the veil of the covering of my temple in my tabernacle which hides the earth shall be taken off and all flesh shall see me together and every corruptible thing both of man and of beasts of the field and of fowls of the heaven or of the fish of the sea that dwells upon the face of the earth shall be consumed and also that of the of element shall melt with fervent heat and all things shall become new that my knowledge and glory may dwell upon the earth and in that day the enmity of men and the enmity of beasts yeah the enmity of all flesh shall cease from before my face says the lord and this is the end of this message and it just um god wanted me to read this part with doctrine and covenants 101 and 18 to all the way to 26 because it talks about the other veil what we just read the veil of the covering of his temple and the tabernacle which hides the earth shall be taken off and all flesh shall see him together so this is about veils and then it and talking about someone's faith so strong he even seen the finger of God, his faith so strong. He could no longer be kept without in the veil because of his faith. He obtained the promises. So this is being, this is to help you with deliverance, enlightening your eyes, enlightening your understanding, removing evil veils, removing blindfold veils, removing spiritual blindness, spiritual misunderstandings. You understand a blind mind, unbelief. You've you seen there's many different type of veils the enemy uses. Veils of darkness, veils of unbelief, um, blind mind veils, evil coverings to cover people's faces, all kinds of stuff. And these are the scriptures you can use. Doctrine and Covenants 110 and 1. The veil was taken away from our minds and the eyes of our understanding were open. Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain, the face of the covering casts over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations and the other ones that I've read and Corinthians. So beautiful people, stay blessed. I hope this helped you and have a beautiful day. Have a blessed day. Be in love, light and peace. And don't forget to repent. 
in Emmanuel's name.